Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about the different type of the router link in Angular 15 or we can say like different type of the navigation link for a route in Angular 15. So let's go to the Visual Studio code and the generally like uh, what I'm trying to say is like when I we launch an application and when we navigate from like when I click on this student or the teacher or the contact us so basically we redirect to a particular page so for uh, that like how we can do so in the previous video where we have learned about the router link and the router outlet through that we can do but here we, we will see like different type of the router link through that we can navigate uh, from one component to the another component and let's go here and currently like uh, we have the href and we didn't give any path to here and now like if you will go on the browser and if i will click on the student so it is like when i click on this it is redirecting to the different piece because it is not able to find that and the reason is because here we have uh, given it as a redirect so let's comment it first and go here. let's save this go on the browser and if i will click on this student uh, like if i click on this student see here it is the hash because we are not able to navigate to the any page and the reason is here we didn't give any uh, page uh, like the basically the uh, path name so here let's give all the path name to this so here what i'm going to give for the home this is home for student and here let's give the teacher and here let's give the contact us so all these paths we have given so when i save it and go on the browser and if i will navigate to the any page we can see it is navigating to the all the page but there is a problem uh, like when we use the href and the reason is when i'm going to click any link or we are going to any component this page is refreshing like you will see like when i click on this home this refresh the like it is refreshing the entire page and basically like it is not a good behavior when we are working with the angular since if we have to create a sp application in the angular and refreshing that piece that is not a good behavior and it maybe reset all the value uh, on the page label so that's why in the angular we should not use the href now instead of the href what we can use we can use the router link that we have seen in the previous uh, videos also where we were using the router link so now let's copy and see and this router link is basically a attribute now in this attribute we have to give the names that we have given this is the one way like you can call you can in this attribute directly you can assign directly like this or you can use the square bracket as well if you are using the square bracket then here we have to use it in, within the single quotes and with that like what we have to do like uh, this is the one way and another way what how we can call here if you will give the square bracket and here also you can give the square bracket and within the square bracket you can give a single quote and another thing like if you are using like this even you can pass any parameter to this path now for an example on the teacher i want to pass any id or any value i want to pass so that we even can pass using the router link and the way this is the way we can pass it but we will talk uh, more in detail about the passing parameter to the component in the later session so let it be as of now now the another way like uh, uh, which we have used that is the uh, like using the uh, like uh, using the slash basically that we have seen in the previous video and that we use it like in the square brackets and inside this one what we do we use the slash so through that also we will uh, we can access on the page and in the coming video we will uh, understand like what is the use what is the absolute and the relative uh, route path in the angular then we will understand what is the meaning of this slash in the uh, angular 15 so like basically here what i am trying to say is like these are the ways through that we can use the router link in our angular 15 application like uh, so one way is like as an attribute we can directly pass the uh, our path name another way if you are using the square brackets 
then we, we have to use it the single quote and another way if you want to pass the parameter and uh, like if you want to use router link in the square bracket then you can use this way and another is the this way which we have seen in the previous video as well now let's save the changes and go on the browser so if i will go on the browser and if i will click on home home page student teacher and contact us but when i am going to click any tab you can see it is not refreshing so that is the use of using the routing in the angular because it is a component based architecture and if we navigate through the route then it does not refresh the page but now there is one problem like when i click on any tab we can see it is not highlighting like which tab i have clicked so basically what i will say like here active link is not set that is basically called the router link active that is not set to this one so that we will talk in the next video so in this video like these are the way through that we can call the router link so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you